Hey YouTube, welcome to another video on knowledge management. In this video, we'll be taking a look at a new knowledge management tool called Scrintle. In a previous video, I mentioned I'm a very visual thinker. Uh, I use a blend of mind mapping tools and knowledge management tools uh, to help me in thinking and ideating new concepts. Here's where this new tool called Scrintle comes in. Let's take a closer look at uh, how Scrintle can help you better ideate using a more visual format uh, than tools like Obsidian and Roam or Loxy. So the, one of the hardest parts of building a second brain is uh, creating those permanent nodes. This is where Scrintle shines. In an analog or an anti-net uh, Zettelkasten system where you have physical cards, uh, you can place the cards on the table and you can visually see the whole picture laid out in front of you. Scrintle has taken inspiration from the analog Zettelkasten system, as well as some mind mapping tools and other PKM tools, and creating an all-in-one solution. It allows users to create a huge board of interconnected notes. Think of the graph tool in Logseq or Obsidian, uh, but add the ability to actually change the notes uh, on the graph tool itself. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a more visual knowledge management workflow uh, using Scrintle. Let's dive right in. If you've already been building your PKM in another tool like Logseq or Obsidian, there is always a sunk cost involved in migrating to a new platform. I'm happy to say that Scrintle has PKMers in mind when they prioritize features on launch and have added a Markdown import to make things easier. Select the Markdown files you want to import and bring them over to Scrintle. Depending from where you're importing your notes and how your notes are structured, there might be some cleaning up to do with your notes, but overall the process worked quite well. Here's an example of the power of Scrintle. I wanted to add a hashtag to a bunch of notes that I imported from Logseq. I simply select the notes in the board view and mass tag them with hashtag permanent. You can also use the same method for mass coloring your cards, by the way. The desk is your homepage where you can start creating cards with minimal friction. This is similar to the journal view in Logseq and Rome. After I've created a bunch of cards on the desk, some literature notes, a few fleeting notes from work, I can select all the cards and just press delete. Each card created automatically is given a place in the archive, so no need to be scared of cleaning your desk and starting a tabula rasa or a clean slate. And then you can find your notes using the search tool. The default search view is organized as a timeline so you can find notes you have recently created. Select a single or multiple notes at a time and then just drag them onto your desk. A daily card is a simple card with a date stamped as a title. You can convert the daily note into a normal note just by changing the title of the card. This is a quick and easy way of creating a journal entry if you're used to doing journal entries in Logseq. Scrintle allows you to embed PDFs, YouTube videos and other documents into the cards. Uh, there's nothing special about embed itself, but being a visual tool, you can pop out the video or PDF and create notes on the side, making it really easy and visually pleasing, all within your Scrintle board. No need for a split screen, cross-platform note taking. It's all very intuitive. Once you've got your notes, you can move them into a new board by selecting them all and creating a new board. You can then start creating your permanent notes within this new board. You open search and start scoping out possible relating ideas and just drag them into your new board. This board can be then searched from the search tool by switching to the boards tab. The desk differs to the boards in the, in the way that the desk is a single ever-changing board that cannot be searched for, but saving your organized notes from the desk view is easy. Just select the cards and create a new board. Another cool feature specifically for personal knowledge management workflows in mind is the Kanban table. When you're working with literature notes, you can organize your notes that 
are in progress into a Kanban board. Name the columns something like to do, doing, and done. Move the literature notes that you're currently working on into the doing column and any notes that you haven't started with into the to do column, respectively. You can add any fleeting notes you might have into the to do column and process them when you have time. I have a Kanban board in my desk view ready for any fleeting notes I want to create throughout the day. In Scrintel, you can create literature notes in various ways. You can create a main note with the bibliography details, and then for each concept, you can create a separate note and then link them together using the plus annotation. This creates a nice visual representation of all the different concepts from the literature. I, however, I came to the conclusion that I want to keep the, my literature notes all in one card so as not to clog up my archive with too many literature notes and leave room, so to say, for the permanent notes. Choose a method that works best for you. I think it's important to outline the differences between literature notes and permanent notes in your system. Literature notes are your interpretation of what the author is trying to say. When you're writing down the literature notes, you are in essence first understanding what's been said and then writing this down in your own words. In contrast, permanent notes are you linking the interpretation of the literature notes to what you already know and understand. That was my workflow in Scrintel. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, if you're going to be using Scrintel. It's currently in the speed of phase. Uh, you can jump right in for 60 euros or 60 dollars uh, for the personal pro subscription uh, and you can get direct access to the tool itself. Uh, otherwise, if you want to wait a little longer, uh, I think it's Q1 in 2023, uh, you can uh, get the free access for the personal account. That said, uh, there are some major features that have not yet been released, uh, such as, for example, dark mode, can't wait for that. Uh, otherwise, Scrintle is in a really good state at the moment, and I really love using that tool. Hope you found some useful tips on how to use Scrintle for your knowledge management system. If you liked the video, click like, and see you in the next video. Bye.